There's a lot of really good mid mid players. Well, I don't know about a lot, but at least more than three that yeah. have been doing well in these tournaments. I know the first one that easily comes to mind is Min Main. Definitely a player that we've seen in top eight. No, oh, I thought you were going to say uh, Peck him. Peck him? Yeah, Peck yeah him? Peck, Peck him is another player. We we saw we saw both Peck him and Min Main do consistently well when the character first launch, but we haven't really seen too well. I think the only one that we've seen in top eight a little bit more is uh, Min Main. But we'll see here. Time Gear gets gets his time to shine here against RM8. Mm -hmm. I actually think this is a really difficult matchup for Ike. Yeah. That I, zone that Ike wants to play to start his combos gets easily hit by Min Min. Yeah. And she, ha she has a little bit more of the speed with each movement of the arms, too. That's the kind of the thing about Min Min is she can move with each arm swing and then still cover a lot of ground. That's going to be a really yeah. good Aether to get Time Gear off the stage here. And then give RM8 the opportunity to go for ledge. What a great catch because he forces out the jump. Oh, man. Sometimes you got to wait for the... Oh, nice dash tech. Damn, the move is so strong. But uh, yeah, sometimes you got to wait to see if the Min Min will throw out a move off stage first before creatively jumping off to try to, like, you know, edge guard her. Because, like, a good Min Min player won't give you the free forward air to, like, you know, kill her. And then it can easily turn around on you in a bad way. Yeah. Okay, I have to let you. This, Ooh, the way that I've been seeing... The free data that. Yeah. The way oh, that I've been seeing RMA impressed. like do do these aerials here, is it's good because it conditioned Time Gear to try to go for a jump in which he caught it with an Aether. Oh, what an Ooh. excellent use of up air, understanding, you know what, he's that far up into the blast zone. No catch? Yeah, this is going to be big here. Not getting the second hit oh. of Aether, but nonetheless, RMA does have an excellent stock lead. Down throw up air? Nice. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a full carry, not enough, though. Oh, wow. Still not able to get... So, Time Gear's going a lot for these grabs out of shield, and, uh, yeah, they're not working at all because he's not parrying, and Mimin's startup on her grab is a little bit too slow for that to work yeah. consistently. Start up if is anything, slow. He, he should be doing up smash out of shield. Yeah. Because it's like, I don't know, it's like frame five or something crazy like that. And even then, grabs in general in this game are pretty slow out of shield. And they're super susceptible to being punished. Not a lot of them have good range. Unless you're Palutena, who has like one of the best grabs in the game for sure. Sage. Nice, nice quick draw goes high. Ice recovery, if he recovers predictably against Min Min, very bad. <laughs> he can die so easily. Oh, damn, he caught the back dash. Wow. Even the sour spot of dash attack just it made Min Min explode. Yeah, Ike dash attack, honestly, pretty, pretty strong. Yeah, especially now that it got buffed. Yeah, it, it is one of those moves that like people be like, why do they buff it? But I'm just like, at this point, it's... It's a lot of commitment from Mike. Like, there is no reason why I shouldn't kill more often. But also, it's a lot of cooldown for Mike. It's one of those moves that I definitely has to commit to. And it's a more of a hard read, as you can see the way that RMA was able to pull it out. So she should definitely be rewarded for something like that. But the way she's using it, he's, like, catching time here, either rolling away, backdashing, or even, like, a landing. So. Yeah. And I think the way that Time Gear is trying to do is just find space away from Ike to the point that Min Min is able to space again with her arms, but in trying to get that spacing, it gives RMA opportunities to try to go for another aerial or conditioning or even read that runaway with the dash attack like that. Mm -hmm. It's understanding that if the zoner is moving away, the zoner is moving back to disadvantage, which is towards the ledge and not towards stage control. Pretty good start here, though, for Time Gear. Oh. Uh, oh, that was so risky recovery. That's why he's going to... Oh, he didn't back throw him off stage. But that's even better tech chase. Damn. Never mind. But, uh, yeah, I saw as soon as uh, RMA got back thrown off stage, he, like, immediately double jumped in disadvantage and uh, almost died for it. But <laughs> that's just the nature of Ike's recovery in this matchup. Oh, that was an excellent... very bad. 
Yeah, that was a good use of a B just to go for another uh, neutral special swing, but unfortunately that oh. wasn't enough. <gasps> Time gear at 73. That was oh. almost going to be Curtis with the forward. They're still able to recover and avoid the Aether. Once again, trying to so fight scary. back with the arms. I think that's the one thing that Time Gear has to always evaluate is where is your stage control with Min Min to where you feel safe. But like I said, if you're going to oh. go running away, this is good for IT Casual with a dash attack. Yeah, he died in that situation again. Really unfortunate. But there's that Megawatt Nair, one of the best Nairs in the game. Yeah. Ooh, double dash attack? Yeah, double, double Nair here on the shield. Not necessarily that safe, but the way that RMA was able to pull it off is really good. Just because he's looking to space it more and then force a reaction from Time Gear. We saw that in game one, where he was able to go for Ether like so. This is going to be a back throw. This is good for Time Gear. Gets an arm swing here, but not a stock. Yeah. He uh, double jumped early, but he also had his quick draw ready too, so he didn't get punished too hard for that. Yeah. And good for Time Gear. Delays the second swing of the other arm just to make sure he can get the hit. Ooh, big up smash out of shield. That's what yeah. he's been needing. It's actually, I mean, it's not easy to up smash out of shield X in there, especially online, but like, that's definitely what he needs to like discourage RMA from jumping in on him with that move. So oh often. no! But there's, nah, yeah. it won't kill, but he's in a bad spot. Yeah, that's yep. track. Back and he still dash. rolls. Yep. That was the problem is he, ba is he rolled and he still backed away, and it, you're rolling towards disadvantage, and that's good for Ike's dash attack. I think what Time Gear yeah. needs to learn is sometimes with Min Min and her range is you have to really use it well enough to just say center stage is where I need to be at all times because if my opponent tries to reach it, I can always be in that whiff punish range with each arm. Yep, that's true. Oh, nice. That was actually really good for Armin to get past that. But nice swing on the arm. Keeps himself alive here. Kind of scary position to be in, but not impossible to bring this to game three. Ooh, oh, that no. roll got caught, though. Oh, he covered everything there. It was unfortunate for uh, Time Gear. Unfortunate for Time Gear, and RMA has been catching every single roll from Time Gear, and that's pretty much going to be the final roll to catch, taking out that game and moving up 2-0 into top eight of winner's side.